are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm tip top, man. I'm tip top. How was your holiday? It was great. It was so nice. Um, we just did like the whole um, coast of northern coastal route. So we started mm. in Derry and then we just went around and ended up in Belfast. Then we ah. stayed in like four different, but actually the, the last two nights, we were going to stay in like four separate places, but like in, you know, in between Derry and Belfast, they're all like tiny little towns. So then we stayed, we decided to stay like two nights in one hotel. So you didn't have to fucking check out really early and you kind of have the hotel, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 I got you. Um, yeah. So we stayed in Belfast for two nights then and we stayed in Port Rush and then we stayed in somewhere in Derry. It was so lovely, so nice. Cool. Very nice. So lots of, mm. so this mostly sort of, you know, seaside coastal rural stuff or you, yeah. yeah, that kind of, that kind of a vibe. Yeah, there was a load of like walking, oh fuck, my phone's on 20%. Why do I always do this, Alan? Um, I'll tell you. <laughs> just underprepared, that's what she is. Um, yeah, so it was very like, you know, we had to walk up a load of mountains to see all like the viewpoints and... We went to Giant's Causeway, which used to walk around. And Is that any good? I've, I've never been there. Uh, it's good. That's a no. Actually. That sounds like a no. <laughs> you were like, ah. <laughs> I did expect it to be a little bit more spectacular because people shite on about it so much. But once you get it's like, just it's just another cliff. like Hexagonal shaped stones on a cliff. Yeah, on a cliff. Yeah, but the stones are great crack because you have to literally climb them um, to get to the top. There's no, That's like, true. this is a little path. So it was really good crack to be, like, running around climbing all the rocks um, and nearly dying every two seconds. That was Deadly. really good fun. I really enjoyed that. But, like, you know, getting there and getting away from there is just another steep hill, you know? <laughs> You're going to go up a hill to go up a hill. To, but yeah, the, way, yeah. the way back must be great fun then, though, I guess. Because you're just like, flying down, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Just trip um, and really fall good. down the entire causeway and then down the whole hill you had to get up there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would recommend. <laughs> well, yeah, it was great. Port Rush is lovely as well, but it was really, I found it really funny because I we were obviously meant to go to um, Portugal and then that never happened because of the whole yes. travel restriction things or whatever. Um, so you just went somewhere so then, that had port at the start. You were like, yeah, yeah we just, enough. we tried really hard. <laughs> um, and it had a little beach and all, and it was super sunny. So it was really, really lovely um, when we were there. But like the town is tiny, but like it was, proper mobbed with people like everyone was on their fucking holidays but right. then when I was like looking on Instagram all everyone that I follow were like either in like the north or Galway or Clare yeah. or Kerry everyone's just like gone on holidays around the country so it's actually mm -hmm. it's a bit mad to see so much of Ireland on people's Instagrams <laughs> there you go Ash, it's Ashley, quite lovely it's, it's kind of nice in a way I think this whole yeah. um, people having to do domestic tourism wherever they are yeah, yeah it's kind of cool, like, like I'd never do that I'd never have done that fucking coastal route and it's absolutely beautiful like yeah know? it was it's a classic thing like you never you don't end up going to the like touristy places that are closer to home ever yeah um, yeah I've never um, done the ring of Kerry I've never right, done right. any of that shite like and then yeah. people are like what and I'm like I'm from there where the fuck would I do that like you can do that. You sit in your head. You're just like, I'll do it like the day before I'm gonna die, like on my deathbed. Yeah. Come on, fine, fine. I'll go up to Blarney Castle. Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. G give to the gap for the last ten minutes so I can just get it all out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what I thought of you. <laughs> you piece of shit. I should have kissed this yeah. stone years ago. Yeah. Um. <laughs> like, that was better now. <laughs> you drop dead. Yeah, it's cool though. Um, it's cool. Yeah, and of course yeah, you can see us through your Instagram as well, like heresy. So even if you don't go, yeah. you can see other people go. So yeah, so that was so that's not very cool, man. So you recommend? Yeah, so. Like, yeah, it was so cool. We took four days to do it, but I I think you can drive it in. They say like take four days, but then some stuff was closed, which is really upsetting. So the sure. uh, Bush Mills Distillery was closed, and you know that rope bridge, what's it called, Carrickareed? I think it is. Uh, I, like, I think I've I think, seen I think, pictures I think, of a rope yeah, in the north. I think I'm that's saying famous, that right. But I, don't know. <laughs> I think that's right. Uh, that was close as well, so we couldn't do that. Which is probably good enough because I would have probably died on that bridge. Because we went to this tiny little castle, I don't even know what it's fucking called, and it had like the tiniest bridge across it. Didn't even have water underneath it, it was just high up. So it just had a bridge connecting it them, in, and I was having a hard time on it. Like, Do you think that maybe 
handy Andy like looked at the travel map of all these huge castles <laughs> with huge bridges and then was like found the one with the like one. the tiny gal just so that you would see more to scale. Um, and yeah, you <laughs> feel at home. <laughs> How the heart's like. We went on the smallest Ferris wheel and I nearly fucking had a like I hate those fucking things. You will never ever get me on the London Eye, like not a hope. Like, you know, in the Rose of Trudy, they always uh, the amusements always have them. The big huge Oh right, uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Fucking we Ferris Ferris wheel, isn't that Ferris what wheel, yeah. Um I never go on them and then this one was really like quite small, so I was like, Yeah, grand. And then it took off and I was, was like Was this in the small oh, castle? <laughs> Did yeah, ha- to, to like I was going to say to like a miniature <laughs> golf park or something. <laughs> we that did, he did play mini golf. <laughs> of course you did. I mean, is there? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, <laughs> He's had like the a more li- I think about this. In, <laughs> like a mini, mini holiday. That's great. That's so um, funny. Well, yeah, you yes. had a heart attack on the Ferris wheel anyway. Right. I don't like them. Don't like heights or don't like no wheels sense because I don't like fair. I just don't trust them. Like I did that. Um, I, just, I did that fucking zip liney thing where you're in the. It's not a zip line, but it's it goes across the 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 tem- Thames. I can never say it right. Thames. The, yeah, I think it's just Thames. That's what I said. Thames. Saying. I don't know. The big river in London. It goes yeah. across that, and it's down near the airport in the city. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. Um, have you done it? Have you heard about it? No, I have not done it. It literally either. just takes you from one side of the river to the other, but like you're on a little Oh, I'm thing. sure that's the thing Boris did because there's a picture of him with a mad hat on when he was mayor of London. I bet, yeah, I've seen him, yeah. So now I'm just superposing your head onto Boris Johnson's body. <laughs> that works. Um, the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> uh, and I uh, fully ne- nearly had a heart attack on that as well. But Those then are, I've yeah. done... I t- it took 400 years to get across as well. I was like, the river's not that big. I'll be fine. And then I was like, this won't ever end. This was is it, how did I you end. accidentally get on the one that was the lengthways one as opposed to the widthways uh, one yeah. across the river? Just <laughs> fucking takes fucking around. years. <laughs> um. Maybe it felt like it. It doesn't felt like it. But then uh. I've done those, you know those things that you're like, you're, it's like a swing and it like lifts up and then it goes around. Like you're, it's a, another amusement thing. And it just yeah. like swings around and I, you're just like yes. two by two. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I've I done do. those and I have had no problem and they're definitely more likely to kill me. So hang on now, because yeah, this is, this is confusing to me. Like, because Ferris wheels, yeah. I've got no problem with. I went up in the London, like there's no, with me, I have no issue with that. The zip lining I did here in London in a park, they have like a zip line thing where you zip line over this really... It's not a huge park, but you're quite high up or whatever. And I was yeah. shit. I was fucking, I thought I was going to die doing that because I don't like heights. Um, yeah. I just, I didn't know if I was going to do it right until I jumped off. It was great crack like, but like the thing, I don't know which one you used for the, the river one, but like, it looks like, I sent to Chanel the other day, it looks like it's made of old Coke cans. Like it doesn't even look oh, like God. dimmy. Like it just, it's this tiny bit. Of, I was like that tiny bit of aluminium with the handle is the only thing between me and splat like um yep. but uh yeah that freaked me out whereas whereas something like when it's uh what's the word in a machine or restraint that wouldn't freak me out so you're saying zipline didn't ferris no, wheel did, i didn't did. like that oh, you didn't i like didn't that. like the i didn't but it wasn't a proper zipline i was in like a carriage and the carriage was being like ziplined across. Oh, that's what you're in. So almost like a, yeah. isn't it? Don't they have them like snowmobile? When ski you're lift yeah, things? when you're going like skiing and so it was like a yes. ski lift. Okay, um, but it was okay. just across the river. Okay, okay, yes. See, that's different because the fucking zipline thing is you're just holding on to it. Yeah. Well, you've got to I think like to for do your that. legs I like too. To that's uh yeah man that was i was shitting it but it was great fun really good fun <laughs> so so is your problem so you don't like but the thing where you were being flung around you no problem with the thing where we're spinning with around. that I'm why what's the difference what's that. the x I factor have no idea maybe it's the speed because obviously when you're flying around it goes a lot quicker but those ferris wheels they're like move once every 100 years and you're uh, in it forever and yeah, then they yeah, always yeah. and i know they're trying to make, like give you your fucking money's worth or whatever so you get the whole view but i'm like get me the fuck down i do not want to be on the top of it the one the one fucking woman who's like this is ridiculous 
I paid <laughs> 20 euros. I wanted to just fucking, you want yeah, to just, just be spun around like someone in a tumble dryer and salad spinner thing I mean, or something. if you, Boom. yeah. yeah. Um, I, hate, I hate them. I hate them so much. Ah, the yeah. slowness, and then we were, maybe we, that's it. Yeah, the slowness. We went into the, maybe, we went into the, um, do the Walters? Oh, the yeah. The as well. Yeah. Um, and you know the Mr. Man is meant to come around and like push the bar into you so it like goes into your fucking stomach and you can't breathe. That's he right. He just did not do that. So we like pulled it down and it was, it was, there was a huge gap between, the, between us and the bar. Sure. And I was like, I'm pretty sure it's meant to go down further, but we couldn't like pull it down. So Andy was like, no, it's fine. It's fine. And then I just literally pushed it and it like opened. And then he was like, hmm. And I was like, no, Mr. Man will definitely come around and close it. And then he just like didn't. <laughs> Of course, of course. So we were just like flying around the Walters on a broken, with a broken bar. We were just not starting properly. And I was That's like, great. oh, this, this is the end. <laughs> That's great, man. That's it does great. make the ride a little but bit But doesn't the, the sense, doesn't it? Yeah, right? This, doesn't the gravity kind of hold you in a bit though now? Or did you yeah, think Yeah, like we off? were kind of stuck. I, but I think the two of us were kind of like really like, clutching onto the bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just yeah, yeah. I love that. I love, I love, you know, when you're on, the, particularly when the ride's not well if you're spinning around fair enough but especially when the ones where it fucks you up in the air like yeah. something like that and you've the harness and you're like when you're in the air you're like pushing down on the harness as if as if your measly upper body strength yeah. is going to protect you against <laughs> a million g forces <laughs> of being fucked if like if the thing isn't strapped in properly you're like no i've got it i've got it. yeah yeah like what the right. fuck will you do it anyway man your, your body's just like just try even even though yeah. you know you may as well be trying to hold back an ele elephant over, you know? like, yeah <laughs> Love that. See, I, yeah, I think I think that, that's what it is, man. It's the, it's the added danger of knowing. See, that's why I always think like, if you go to like a major theme park, like if you go to Disney or one of these, like I'm not afraid on Disney, but like when I go to Thunderland in the fucking racing grounds in Cork, like I'm afraid because I'm like these machines yeah. are not being properly maintained. Like that, yeah. that and they're man not is mostly face either. tattoos, and I, I'm not entirely <laughs> sure. He, I'm not entirely sure my safety is his primary concern. Um, yeah, you're dead uh, right. I dead just, right. I would much rather be flung around in fucking Disney World, be but, that on a machine that's been used every single day, every minute of every day. Yeah, it's funny, but then that's the added danger is the excitement then of Thunderland, you see. Yeah, <laughs> it was definitely like a good crack because when we came off it, it was like, oh, great, we survived that. You know, that was great. <laughs> we won't go on it again, but... Uh, that was... But what made me laugh was you know, the other Walter guys, they always come around to your like little cart and they spin you even more. Yeah, they give you a spin. They give you a spin. Yeah. I was like, how does he not notice that our fucking belt is open, like... Anyway, I think you're, I mean, your, your trust, I have to say, Gillian, your, your trust in the Walter man was, was, <laughs> it was it seems to much. have been really like massive, like a cornerstone yeah, <laughs> of your identity seems to be built around trust in the Walter man that's now been shattered. <laughs> yeah. I, will, I will say, I'm not sure I ever had quite as much uh, trust in the guy getting paid yeah. four euros an hour or whatever he's on. Um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't trust him as well. I think working like working in a carnival, I suppose lots of it is, of course, that you get local people wherever you go. Um, mm -hmm. Is the is the thing. So lots of the people, you know, because that's the thing. The carnival folk, um, lots of them are actually they're not carnival folk. They're they're local hires. But there are some people who are carnival folks, and they go around. I was I remember thinking, ever always thinking as a child, how great that would be. To be a carnival. Oh, to like run away with them and just work yeah. in one of the fucking. Not, not the circus. The circus yeah. never really appealed to me because that was like, oh, gymnastics. And then it's, it's, you either have to be really good at like gymnastics and be really fit or like kind of be into mild animal cruelty. And neither one was like massively appealing. Did you know what I mean? shout out to you, no? <laughs> you could like, have oh. been the ringmaster. Don't they just kind of stand there and be like, Thank you, Julian, for like the, the yes, Alan, but you could have done that job that requires you to do nothing uh, and get all the credit. You, you get know to, me so you get to well. crack a whip or something, don't you? And you wear that um, fancy costume. The ringmaster yeah. to me always seems to be a woman, though. Isn't the ringmaster usually a woman? No? Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, there may have been a, a movement. <laughs> 
<laughs> there oh, may have God. been a movement for gender equality within the ringmaster uh, uh, profession. So I feel like there were quite a lot of female ringmasters around for a while because it was like, oh, subverting your right. your pre your deeply. They're trying to distract from the from the animal cruelty. Be like, but we have women <laughs> ringmasters. Everything's fine. Ridiculous. I'm not, I'm not going to some show where the clowns are controlled by a woman. Are you I'm mad? Not... <laughs> These people have pies to throw and tiny little cars to climb into. And you're going to put a woman at the helm of this operation, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fucking elephant <laughs> beaten behind them. Like, ridiculous. That's, see, that's it. And what, and no, no woman could control the power of an elephant. You see? This is no. it. You need, is, is. you need to know your limitations, ladies. And get get, <laughs> get, get back out, in your box. Get, get out of box, the ring. Box. Back in the kitchen. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> make me a sandwich. Make, 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 make this elephant a sandwich. Yeah, um, peanut butter, please. <laughs> very good. <laughs> very good. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, kind of so, holiday was. It was great. That sounds like a decent holiday. I think mm. my personal feeling is that fucking hell, that just that was just a really great sound combination of your fucking headphone banging off your necklace and a massive gulp of Fanta. That was dis oh, that sorry. was disgusting to be inside of. Thank you, appreciate <laughs> that. Um, can you your hear headphone, that? Yeah, of course I can. Yeah, oh, or I can okay. hear something anyway. I don't know. It just makes a clicky noise wherever your microphone is. Um, maybe Sorry. it's the static. I'm gonna... is it, are you static? No, I was I was hitting my necklace with the microphone. Oh. I thought maybe your jumper oh, the speakers, was, sorry. was generating static electricity. <laughs> no, um, I don't think so. But I was going to say, I think every good holiday needs to have like a trip to the fun fair esque kind of bullshit built in. I love that. Yeah, yeah very it, important. It was great, and it just kind of it was a bit. Um, obviously, we didn't plan it. There was just a little carnival. I think it might be like a permanent thing because Poor Rush is such a is a seaside town so i'm pretty it like it just it's a it's a holiday destination like you know i got you uh um, it's a bit like fucking Bally bunion or somewhere you're that saying has all the, it has all the casinos do you know it has like that little uh it's like an like it it's like a strip but it it like the irish strip is just different to every other type of strip in the world because <laughs> there's like no bars it's just casinos and like right. arcades for children that's right. all it ever is Right. Uh, there's yes. no bars. Whereas every other strip is like hundreds of bars. Yeah, I think yeah. It, yeah, I do know what you're saying. Although I think in the UK they have that as well. Although I suppose they have a couple mm. of bars. But I know what you mean. In the US they have in other places their strips or whatever you want to call them are more uh, adult. Mm. Whereas there's a weird sort of the sort of seaside slash sort of casino fucking seaside -y, toy carnival whatever yeah not toy. it's like that, this is for the children but also for the adults but we're not sure what's happening exactly <laughs> yeah exactly oh yeah. there you go it that's that's 100 like what it is it's kind of like it sort of has an adult feel in a way but there's no yeah it's not it's sort of pretend it, I, I, it's either something that's for adults pretending to be for kids or something that's for kids pretending to be for adults it's, yeah, I, I think know, it's for kids pretending to be adults. Yeah, I see. I think it it's the other. I think it, I think it's the other way around because I'm like. Oh, really. I'm like because see because I well I one because I love fun fairs because fun fairs are creepy <laughs> like there's loads like if you or not fun fairs but this kind of seaside casino fair because like gambling is essentially for adults or at least it should be, um, <laughs> uh, uh, you know fucking little eight-year-old smoking cigarettes and press and go on the fruit machine. <laughs> um, uh, that's my... Uh, fucking Why are the Apple memories chargers of summer. so, so short? Like, how am I meant to charge my phone? Well, I probably should have charged my phone before I started the podcast. It really, but I was at work, Alan. So, I'm, fuck I'm sorry. Some of us have to work. I know. Yeah. So I would buy job, you, yeah. I'll buy you a long extension cable for, just... your, for your birthday. I'll buy you a big long. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh, can I see the? Can I see the, the uh, jellies? Yes, yes, you can see the jellies. So Jillian bought me, sent me an amazing <laughs> birthday present because she knows <laughs> that I have no interests outside of eating sweets and uh, watching <laughs> oh, Netflix. But she knows you I do. have a Netflix. You, saw, you eat jellies like 
I yeah, there's no tomorrow. I eat a lot of jellies. So, but you sent me this package, Jillian, right? And I, you didn't tell me you were going to send it because it was like a birthday surprise. Uh, and uh, but it ca it came in this completely menacing black oh, box, God. and here it says on the bottom, "A special gift for you." <laughs> so I, of course, assumed I would open this up and then find like a haunted necklace. With a picture of like the woman I accidentally drowned three summers ago in it, you know, <laughs> something like that. Uh, and I was massively happy and relieved to find that it was just full of jellies uh, with this, so this handwritten note from you in uh, <laughs> Comic Sans font. Alan, happy 21st birthday. Jillian, thank you very much. 21. Oh. Not yet. I'm still 20 for another couple of days. So another couple of days, yeah. Then I'll be an old man. Oh, I, I thought it would be bigger and raging. I thought it was a huge box of jelly. But see, maybe, but see, maybe you see it from this angle now. But that looks sort of huger. Is that the angle they had? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Um, so I have and the boxes eaten. on the website are a lot nicer. They have they're like little white white boxes with little. Uh, I guess that is a fucking massive bag of jellies. Let's be fair. Hey, hey, listen, I'm not complaining, man. <laughs> I'm not complaining. You don't hear me complaining. But feel free to take it up the jelly cans. You know what I love about a bag of jellies? You get all that disgusting jelly, like, film, you know? That, like, jelly oh, slime, you know? That's, that's, that's nasty. Yeah, that's what you want, man. It's like burger grease. <laughs> I don't like that, no. You don't like burger grease? Come on. I don't like that grease. That's, that's nasty. Hey, but well, I tell you what, Jillian, you don't have to. You don't have to like it. I have to like it, and I appreciate it. That's so true. thank you You're very welcome. much. A thank special you. gift for you from the past. That's past, past, past. <laughs> I oh. don't like. I, were you like, what did I fucking order in my sleep? What happened? Yeah, yeah I do a lot of. Um, I do a lot of late night Amazon ordering, and uh, okay, it just uh, yeah. Sometimes you get stuff, and you're just like, what? <laughs> No, normally it's not too, it's not like when you actually open it, you're like, ah, oh. the other day I, was, I, I opened a, a, a package. I was like, I thought it was, I thought it was my bottle of hot sauce that had arrived. Uh, oh, yeah. And uh, I opened it and it was a bottle of whiskey. And I was like, huh, someone sent me a bottle of whiskey for my birthday, maybe. But then I was like, but I don't drink. Uh, so everyone who knows me would know I don't drink. So then it's someone who doesn't know me. And then I looked at the, uh, the, the address in the box and someone has just sent it to the wrong house, to the wrong apartment. So I'm uh, like, oh, I had to like kind of reseal it. And then I put a note on it saying, sorry for opening the whiskey. And I coughed <laughs> into the box and I gave it to him. Um, and uh, yeah, so that was a disappointment. Um, but yeah, that's the only, that's the only gift I hot, survived. Mm. Did you get the hot sauce? You wait for the hot for sauce it. is missing, man. The hot sauce is gone. I got a hot sauce is gone. Ha. Uh, I got a message from Amazon saying, look, it's looking like your hot sauce has been misplaced. We can give you a refund. Oh, no. And I was like, if I wanted, it was top quality hot sauce. So, and it was about a liter bottle of it. So if I wanted six pounds 29 in my bank account, I would have ordered that. But I didn't order that. I wanted hot sauce. Oh, that's sad. Can yes. I just send you another one? Or did you I, get the last one hot sauce ever? I feel like maybe this was this was a going out of business, get them while they're hot, sauces, sauce, hot sauce, sauce. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, so that's it. And uh, no other birthday presents yet. And a uh, oh. bit, bit, bit annoyed, a bit upset about that because a couple of people asked me for my address. Alan, what's your address there? Just, just wondering, out of the blue. <laughs> I was like, hey, sure. Thinking, oh birthday presents coming here now but apparently it was just so they could forward me on some tax bill or some fucking shit because i haven't gotten anything <laughs> of any value so, so well done jillian you're top of the birthday presents so far default you're welcome you're welcome you um you accidentally i think i'm pretty sure you you've accidentally sent me your uh your address that's how i had it because you took a picture or something um ages ago and it, it wasn't it was when you first moved in do you remember you kept getting that post from you got you got posted. Oh, that's right. Be careful, be, careful, be, careful, be careful what I say about this, but uh, yes, I got some post that was so intriguing. I almost wanted yeah. to open it to find out what it was, but I didn't yeah. because that would be illegal. But if I had yeah, done so, I would also have been disappointed to find out that despite <laughs> its mystical label, its contents were not exciting. 
but none but of that happened. So. None of that happened. So, so well, yeah, funny. you sent me the picture of the box, and then that's how I got your address. <laughs> So yeah, this is that's that's the connection too, because uh, again, it's another spooky mystical box. Uh, yeah. so I do you, made it way scarier than a fucking box of jellies. That was way more exciting because it was a double win. Because I was like, oh my god, haunted box! I was like, jellies, this is the best. You know, if it looked like <laughs> if it started like a box of jellies, I would have been like, oh, you know. So that's yeah. the double, the double win. Um, uh, do 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 do. You all right, Jillian? You're having more difficulty than usual with your. Uh, camera yeah it's because i moved and now it keeps oh, moving reposition. and i also tried to i did try to get under my blanket but then i knocked over the thing <laughs> you flew too close to the sun is what you're yeah. saying <laughs> yeah okay live in the dream so you're back so you're, you're so this was your first day back and worked from after you know holidays yeah 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 first day back he was real nice he only gave me nine to two so you were at work and you're fucking going home again 20 minutes later, do you know what I mean? Fucking, I love that, man. I love the like half day shift kind of thing because you're just like, yeah, just like a couple yeah, hours to settle in and then a oh, couple hours getting ready to get out the door and then a uh, lunch yeah, break exactly. in the middle for an hour or so and uh, away we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just drink some more coffee there. Uh, yeah, it's real nice. You don't have to open the shop. You don't have to close the shop. It's nice. Quality, man. Quality, quality, quality. quality. So I, I was... I was just going to say, I just went in and gave some people a few sandwiches and then I went home. <laughs> Lovely. Sounds good to me, man. Sounds good to me. Um, yeah, very nice. Very nice. This is great now. I'm going to have to ask. This is good. I like that you had a miniature themed holiday. That's really good. That's really good. Andy, Andy, see, he's, he's, he's a winner. Now, if you got, if you got on a date now with one of your, your old fucking langers you used to go out with, there'd be like, Jeff would have taken you to, I don't know, to, I just, Jeff is my new name. I go to, it's my new default name for some reason, whatever it is. I don't know anyone called Jeff, but it's a new one <laughs> in my head for the default. If you got out with Jeff now, he would have taken you to like some, you know, huge castle, play huge regular sides golf, would have taken you just to. Just no crack like. Just fucking bullshit, wouldn't it? You know just what I mean? Classic Jeff, isn't it? Just classic Classic, Jeff. you know, gets your giant novelty fucking pint glass that's like this big. <laughs> it's ridiculous, ridiculous. Oh, Inconsiderate. Inconsiderate. Doesn't know me at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you don't know me by now, <laughs> um, you're you just as you play regular size golf and fall over. Yeah. It, fall into the, roll into the sand pit. I love miniature oh, golf. I love miniature. Old. I love miniature golf is up there with the fun fairs in terms of goofy, stupid fun that I like. I love mini golf as well, except I didn't enjoy it the last day because I didn't win. But oh. <laughs> yeah, I lost by two two points. Human. Are you are you, com are you competitive, Julian? No. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah, it's so funny, man. I love it. I, I love because I don't play. I don't play sports or anything like that. You don't play so anything much. competitive. Like that's why I'm asking. Yeah. That's why, that's why people don't know that I'm competitive. <laughs> ah, I see. Because I don't do anything competitive. But I am, deep yeah, down. I don't like losing. I don't like but losing. Is this because deep, is so deep down, is that why you stopped doing all things competitive? Because you were just, you just got disqualified. I like, never. <laughs> used to be in camogie, but you beat the living, you beat, you beat an 11 year old girl on the opposite team within an inch <laughs> of her life. And you were just yeah. forever. Just don't understand what the problem was. Um, I never really did anything competitive anyway. It was all like drama and stuff. I never played sports um, or any of that shit. Yeah. So you yeah, see, that's good. See, because something like drama, you can't win at it, but inside you can be like, I, I was the best. Yeah. I was um, the best. Actually, my, my little sister was in a, a dancing competition um, last year. Uh, it was She did like a Strictly Come Dancing to raise money for the school, I think it was. Nice. Or the GA picture or something. So they did like a Strictly Come Dancing. Um, and that was the day that I found out how competitive my mother is. <laughs> ah, you were like, there's the DNA. Oh, I was, was like, what Was she like, the... uh, did she tripping off the other little girls on the way into like, the... Like, she might as well have. Like, she was unreal. And like, she was drinking points as well. So she was getting like fairly mer merry or whatever. And then like, Lorraine was probably like the last or second last fucking act on so yeah. we had to like obviously watch all the rest of them and like everyone was like there was no one absolutely shocking like they were all really good but sure. like literally <laughs> and your mother booing 
one of them was trying to, yeah, pretty much. One of them was trying to do a, a, a flip and he dropped her or she fell or something. But then they literally just stood up and like continued the dance. It was not a big deal. And then yeah, Mom yeah, was yeah. like, <laughs> fail. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god! It was very funny, um, and then like, like Lorraine, <laughs> uh, Lorraine did win the whole thing, um, and my dad was just a bit like, "Just as well she won," or like, you know, the judges would have heard about it. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's <laughs> great. It was so funny. It's just because obviously none of us played sports, so none of us knew that mom had this. Yeah. Like, in her it was gas. Your mother had nowhere to cha- channel it either then as well. So yeah, she was she channeling it all into this. That's great. <laughs> she just let it all out. But uh, it was very funny. She was just sitting beside me. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So funny. Like, obviously, she didn't scream it so the whole fucking world. No, I, I know. I know. She, me, like, I, so that would be fail. a funnier story if she was just like, fail. Or like, yeah, because yeah. you imagine. And she got kicked out. No. But uh, it was just very funny. I was like, "What the fuck?" And was she was she like proud of uh, what's your sister's name again? Lorraine. Is it what's your Lorraine. sister's name? Was she proud yeah. of her then, or she was? Or when she got in the car, she was like, "Good enough. You gotta, yeah. you gotta be even." But but this don't don't slack off. You gotta be yeah, to the yeah, next yeah, yeah. fucking <laughs> singing competition. You've got a dance yeah. competition. You've got to be. As on point. already like. These are the small small fish that doesn't even fucking count. Those fucking losers. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't ball and crying on the way home. <laughs> ah, I did my best. Not good enough. Not, Not good, good enough. enough. <laughs> um, that's it. Very funny. Comp- I, lo- I love competitive parents. Now they're the best. You know the ones. The ones. The ones live living their hopes and dreams through the kids. You know what I mean? Through their children. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Kill them. Kill them, Tommy. Did Kill you- them. Did any of you play? Um, sports or anything when you were no, younger no no you were shite at sports really no, no hand-eye coordination man nothing uh-huh. may as well be blind in one eye no i was shit at sports <laughs> i was fucking i couldn't Shocking. i couldn't I, I couldn't kick a ball i couldn't no i was rub. i was rubbish at sports and well i suppose chicken and the egg as well wasn't interested in them very much either I just spend most of my fucking time trying to get out of PE. You know what I mean? Just be like, yeah, me just, too. Just f- faking illness, just faking ailments. Ah, uh, sprain my um larynx. You're like, that's in your throat, Alan. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> what's the one in your leg, sir? Which part are you like? <laughs> Starts with TH. Which part of your leg, Alan? Thyroid. Get in your gear. Fuck. And just like <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> like not even not even lying not even knowing enough to lie about it yeah. you know what I mean <laughs> but no I, I did start playing I did start doing PE um, in like I can't remember if it was fifth year I think it was fifth year they mm-hmm. got like a new PE teacher and she was mad into like dancing and Pilates and stuff she did more dance than anything else and I fucking I love dancing so then I started doing yeah. PE because she was doing like dance very nice um, but yeah, I was—I had no fucking interest in like growing up in a, a field after a ball. Like, no thanks, no thanks. So that it's didn't act, that didn't activate your competitive uh, part of your brain. You were just like, you no, can have that one. Yeah, yeah. You guys do that. You have fun. You have fun with that one. Yeah, it's funny. No, I'm not competitive at all. I don't think. I'm trying to think. Am I competitive about anything? <laughs> not re- not really. Like because the things the things I'm interested in tend to not be measurable, do you know what I mean, in terms of their results. Yeah. Like, so if you write, like, like, if you write, uh, what, what do I do? You know, like, fucking, I mean, it's supposed to, like, com- even What com- do I do? Yeah, I'm, I, do I don't I do, do, I don't, what do I do? What do I do? I suppose, like, comedy is one thing I do. And obviously you can have a better yeah. gig than someone else. But, like, yeah. we all know people who are, like, crap comedians who have great gigs and great comedians who have crap gigs. So even that isn't, you know what I mean? Like, that's not as measurable. Yeah, um it's not like what about fuck. what about comedy competitions would you ever do one of those no i probably wouldn't do one um but even if i did do one i, I don't think it'll bother me really winning or yeah because actually i don't get very competitive with those yeah. um like i think afterwards i'll like analyze it be like oh you know it's probably better than that person that person i wasn't better do you know what i mean but 
You do ever do, yeah, you know, I noticed all your analysis seems to be how you're better than everyone else. Yeah, just that's the way, <laughs> the, 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 the report seems to imply, somehow, yeah. Um, but on the night, like, I don't get, like, you know, when you're, when you're competitive, you get kind of arsy with people and you're like, yes, yes, you. yeah. You know, you get kind of riled up yeah, about it, yeah, but yeah. that doesn't happen at a comedy I guess because it's not like instant, you know, with like, crazy golf or something you either fucking get the ball in the, you either get the ball in the hole or you don't you know and it takes you five times or it takes you three times and the person it takes two times <laughs> wins you know yeah you know what I mean I do I just love I just love that you were just like you know it's not it's not the it's not the world's most competitive thing you can do with you know it's not the most competitive sport like crazy golf I mean it's <laughs> well I was uh, saying <laughs> I was measuring it I know, with a in relation that I to play. yourself yeah yeah I know I know it's just the way you phrase it you're just like it's not it's not you know the most MMA world. boxing crazy something like golf. that fucking yeah. no 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 it's crazy golf crazy that's golf. where the rage comes <laughs> um, just yeah uh, yeah, yeah. And that I so many clubs, and they just bait the shit out of each other. With them. that's it. You only actually would need one to hit the ball. The other ones are for yeah. combat. You know, that's what is the one with this, the razor blade edge, the sort of the yeah. bludgeon, depending on what kind of blows you want to inflict on your enemy. Golf yeah. is. A, I see golf. I have no regular golf. No interest. Crazy golf. No now I'm interested. Jesus. Which which makes me think maybe I'd be interested in other sports if you whacked crazy at the start of them and put a few more fun little kind of accoutrement like you know if you had cra crazy fucking hurling where you have to like you know fucking pocket through a dinosaur or something now maybe, maybe I'm on board now I don't know I don't know fuck I love crazy Cause, hurling because <laughs> crazy hurling uh, the, uh... <laughs> and the game's only like six minutes long instead of fucking I don't know how long they were hurling it 16 the, minutes the, the pitch like cur curves up at an angle so you can have to judge it as you run up the side of it kind of thing <laughs> Crazy hurling. Um, but then it's like, yeah, you'd have to have dedicated crazy pitches because you'd have. I feel now I'm putting too dedicated much crazy into it. what pitches because I was like, could you play? Oh. You, could you play crazy soccer on a crazy crazy hurling pitch? Maybe not. Like they're totally different games. Whereas, <laughs> like, so you see, the great, you know, you can't. Anyway, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying. A flat surface is different to a surface with a plastic dinosaur in it. That's what I'm saying. See, dinosaurs is in my head because last time I played crazy golf, I played crazy dinosaur golf with my friend Crazy Tony on the Isle of Wight. Oh, out in like a white island. What Isle of White Island? White <laughs> Island. Yeah, that's right. right. That's White Island. That's where you live. I mean, predominantly. Sorry. Uh, predominantly the Isle <laughs> of Wight. Mm. But yeah, so I was, I was, that was good fun, man. I like, and I actually won, and I, I very rarely win games that aren't just pure chance. Um, so I was, I was very excited. I was very excited. Yeah, the last time I played uh, crazy golf, it was actually indoor. It's in, um, it's in Dun Durham. It's an indoor uh, crazy golf, and I actually won that. Um, but this was mini golf, which is different somehow. Is it? All right, you tell. This is a good question, right? When you have you, you've played both miniature and crazy, right? Yeah. So what do you think is the difference? You tell me. I don't know. Because I'm like using the two golf. terms almost the in interchangeably. I think with crazy golf, you have like all like the dinosaurs that are moving and they kind of get in the way and stuff. I and see. It's, I see. It's, it's much smaller as well, I believe. But mini golf is just a um, small version of a big game of golf. Okay. Okay. But correct. But then what is pitch and put? Ah! So, so we've got the three. <laughs> see, this is great. I never, I've used these terms totally interchangeably, and I've never, you, you're breaking it down now. Miniature golf, crazy golf, pitch and putt. What are the differences? I have no I idea. Have see, in my brain, I think the crazy golf, I think, I think really what the difference is, is you've got like a theme, you've got some kind of wacky stuff right. happening. So, just like you said, yeah. maybe something can interfere with your ball. I feel like in miniature golf, there's definitely no moving parts. No. In definitely. crazy golf, there could be. I don't think there has yeah. to be, but there could yeah. be moving parts. Like, in, you know, and also, but like with crazy, crazy golf, or sorry, miniature golf, and possibly pitch and putt as well. Not to confuse the matter too much. But like, there's different mini little, 
little holes and courses to go around. And they are like, they are still like weird angles and things sometimes, right? Like you'd fuck around yeah. the corner and stuff. So, so it's, I think literally it's almost just like a style thing. You know what I mean? So like really though, if we wanted to rebrand, we find a miniature golf or a pitch and pot. We buy a couple of old plastic dinosaurs. Boom. Now we got crazy golf. Do you know so what I'm saying? So you're saying, <laughs> we call it Little Jills. Little Jills. Yes. <laughs> little Jills. Pitch and pot. Mini crazy golf. They Lovely. cover all the bases. So no matter what you Google, you end up fucking knocking that little a little ball, white ball okay. through a giant polystyrene head of Gillian Fitzgerald. That's where you end up. This is great. That sounds great. I think one of them is you with your hand. And it's like, so one of them is the hand goes up. So you see maybe that as the hand comes down. Oh, fuck yeah. I know how we do the hand coming up. Yo. You have to split level. God, it gets complicated. Anyway, right. The hand, your head, which I'm going to make more of an oval because it's funnier. Um, your head is, is, your mouth is where you have to knock the ball through, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and then your, as your hand comes up to your chin, it closes your mouth a little it bit. It closes the mouth, yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> ah, right and then you've got to knock the ball through that could be one of your signature moves what other kind of Jillian themed uh, stuff we could do your I feel like because you're you do that thing where you like lean on the mic stand because you know you're a hack um, sometimes so like you could be uh, yeah. <laughs> we're friends so uh, you could like maybe maybe the the microphone stand like moves in and around the hole so it could get in the way of the oh. or something, mm. something like that. Oh, obviously, we got a section with Handy Andy and he's just got his big massive hands going like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> like getting in the way of the ball. Um, yeah. And then Emily's just there being like, my name doesn't rhyme with anything. You just knock the ball straight past her. She can't do anything. Like that. <laughs> That's <laughs> <for> me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? that Sorry, sounds man. terrifying to walk through just be like you know me walking through and seeing all my friends faces being all like oh, caricatures oh, of them oh. yeah it's like a terrifying dream like that sounds fucking amazing dude there's one where your mother she's just she's in the audience fail fail she just shouts <laughs> fail and the dancer falls and the dancer falls in the way of your your shot because it's like yeah. a miniature stage <laughs> Sounds great. Sounds That's the best. That's the best. Yeah, no, but I think this is good. Pitch and pot. So you're saying that pitch and pot and mini golf are the same thing? I don't know. I mean, I thought they, I, I didn't think of them as being separate things. What, you tell me what you think. You're the but one with all called, the knowledge. You, they, but they're called, like, you either go play mini golf or you go play pitch and pot. They're two, you know, do you know what I mean? I do not know what you mean, because if I knew what okay. you meant, then I'd know what you sure. meant. Um, I'm going to Google it up here, mini. But like, okay. but have you played both? And in which case, you tell me. Well, I don't know, because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're real. We're, we see, this is why all the world problems are going on at the moment. They need us on the case. Thank you know, you. it's like, well, I, have, I think a thing. Why do you think it? I don't know. But what do you think? Well, I don't think that thing, but I'll tell you why I think it. I don't know. <laughs> and, okay, so I, I guess... Would say, before you more? tell me, I would say that pitch and putt is outside and long, like, longer course. Firstly, can I say, I mean, you said before the one you went to, mini golf, was inside. That, to me, is crazy. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I've never been to an in... I feel like that's a whole other category. Well, hang on oh, now. Okay. Uh, no, this is telling me the difference between golf and pot. Okay, as in like when they're verbs. That's not. That's not what I mean. No, nobody I means that. No one cares. No nobody one cares knows that. that. Nobody means that. <laughs> right. Ah, here we here. <laughs> fucking right to the crotch of it. Like you know what I mean. Sometimes when you're like. It's, you know, when you see a thing where it's like, did you mean this? You're like, nobody has ever meant that. What are you talking about? <laughs> of course, I'm looking for the, like, uh, 
the disgusting version of whatever the possible interpretation of the search term was. Okay, now see, because here, motherfucker, discover Northern Ireland website, hey. search results for mini golf pitch and putt. Come on, people, that doesn't help. They, they're running it together like it's one thing. Wait, now, hang on. Yeah, maybe it is one thing. No, and we're I'm getting wrong. to the bottom of this. Are we? <laughs> Look, look at this. Karn Fuck Knock Golf Course. Sounds great. Karn, oh no, Karn, Karn Fun Knock Golf Course. That's not funny. That does not sound as much fun either, frankly, if I'm going to be knocking my balls around. All right. Um, oh, okay. All right. Now I've got something in front of me that says Mini Pro Golf Parks Chip and Putt. And it's on minigolfparks.com. Okay. What is happening? What is chip golf? Do Boom. Okay. Doorcountrypulse.com mini golf versus putt putt. I thought that said pitch and putt. Okay, wait, wait. I think putt putt's the same as pitch and cut. So let's find out what the difference between mini golf and putt putt is. Okay. okay. There's, there's a picture of a bear and a golf course. See, this, to my mind, puts we're in, we're in crazy golf town. But anyway, let's just. Okay, this is a, this is a long article. <laughs> Um, this is, this is, this is, I just wanted like a one sentence I know. answer. Why is this being so difficult? Okay. This is, this is what I do. Like, I'm not going to keep doing this if this stops being interesting. Um, so I'm going to stop about five minutes ago. Um, but, uh, <laughs> what I do is I get something, somebody asks me a question like that and then they go, oh, well, that's life. And then I spend the next four hours trying to answer the question. <laughs> And then I text them being like, the difference yeah. between a Velociraptor and a Dinocus is the fact that the claws were bigger. And then they're just like, what? I'm like, remember that thing we really cared about four hours ago? And they're like, no. You did no, that with the polka. Oh, you sweet. did that to me. I did that with the polka. Yes. Yes, I did do that with the polka. And then I felt really bad because I just fully did not reply to you. And you said something like, oh, that took me ages to figure out, or that took me ages to type all this out, and I just did not reply. <laughs> that's, that's fine. I didn't even pay attention to the fact that you didn't reply, because okay. whether, whether or not you did that intentionally, that is always what happens. I, I'm like, <laughs> I found out this thing, send an essay about it, and it's just for me. The essay is for me, but I always share it with the other person, like, oh my God, man, they're going to be so psyched to find out that the difference between a snail and a slug, evolutionarily speaking, and then they're just like, oh, okay. okay. You are doing the things that make you happy, and that is great. Is yeah. The, that's the best possible answer I ever get, you know what I mean? Uh, whatever makes you happy. Uh, okay, now come on now. Uh, at the bottom of the article, six pages later, to answer the question posed at the beginning, motherfuckers. Dying fuckers, they want you to read the whole thing. No, that's not even the question. All right. Oh, God. Right. What did you type into Google? I typed in pitch and putt versus mini golf. Apparently, oh. I spent putt wrong because it needs two T's. There you go. Uh, that would be pitch and put. Pitch and put, which is... <laughs> you, you, this is a two-stage two process. You think it would be put and then pitch. But no, you, you hit the ball, then you walk over and you put it wherever you would have liked it to land. Pitch yeah. and put. That sounds way pitch easier. I'd be up for a game of pitch and put. <laughs> Don't add to the number of confusions. Types of golf. Hey, look at this. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's I just don't know. Jillian, look at this after me debunking, or, or not debunking, finding out that uh, the polka wasn't invented in Ireland, guess what was? Pitch and pot. Pitch and pot. Wow. Invented in Ireland in 1929 and, <laughs> and developed through the 1940s. Wow. <laughs> I mean, what? Ireland were busy what? during the war, weren't they? <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> 20, oh, 11, 11, no, 14, so it's even including so 20 something years worth of innovation in this realm. <laughs> Fucking hell. 
Oh. It can't have been. It, this, it can't be much different from when it started out. Like, what was it before? Oh, look at this it's, ball. No. Yeah, yeah. In the, in the er, uh, yeah, in the early days, it was the ball was this big. Yeah. <laughs> and there were three teams, and each one had to push their own ball. <laughs> And originally there were plastic dinosaurs, but they took them out later, controversially to be reintroduced into crazy golf decades of research later. That's amazing. So yeah. <laughs> you know, this is, see, according to this now, the main difference is just, uh, just you know, yeah, size, basically, is what it's saying. It's, it's essentially size, same number of holes, less fucking oh. around, takes less time. Um, so oh. yeah. You'd think we'd have, we'd just fucking so much fucking open land in Ireland, but I suppose it's, of course, it's agriculture land, so you can't just, um, but I was going to say, it's funny that we made it smaller. Do you know what I mean? You'd think some, yeah. like, urban society like Japan, like Tokyo or somewhere would have invented it, whereas we're like, we've got all this space, but fuck it, let's keep it, let's keep it tight. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's keep it, yeah. So that's, so, okay, so we found out, see, this is what happens. We found out the pitch and putt was invented in Ireland, but it does no fucking mention here of mini golf or crazy golf uh, and uh, whether, uh, we had, whether we had a, a hand in that or not. Um, oh, my God. See, now, look at this here. I know you're, you've completely switched off now, but that's okay. Miniature golf. This is... Okay, mini putt redirects here from the video game mini putt. See a different link. Um, miniature golf, also known as mini golf, mini putt, midget golf, somewhat controversial, crazy That's golf, or the, putt putt. The midget golf. What, what? That's what it's called in the Netherlands, midget golf. How do you, were you playing miniature golf in the Netherlands no, recently? I, How do you know this? I just know that. Because I know that it sounds super racist, so it's one of those things that just sticks with you. That you're like, that's in Holland. That's, that's, I just love. Cause not I racist, win. sorry. Racist? That's not right. Is it racist? It wouldn't be. Is that right? <sighs> everything's racist now. Everything's that's racist. You just call everything bad. racist. You know, I don't, I don't like people who sit on wobbly chairs. Well, you're yeah. racist. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I suppose, I think... So you wouldn't be ableist as well. See, if you're ableist, you're discriminating against the disabled. But I don't think little people are disabled. I, I don't think that's how they're no. classified themselves. You certainly wouldn't imagine as much. Um, I so I don't know. Heightist? Heightist? See, but see, heightist would apply to you as well, being a short person. So I feel like that's... I don't know. Um, and do, 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 do. See, according to this, they're, inter they're saying... Miniature, so they, this is saying mini golf, miniature golf, and crazy golf are the same thing. But notably, <laughs> you know, as the list, the categories, is it an Olympic sport? No. Just, so there you go, Gillian. Miniature golf, not Olympic sport. Well, that's me not going to the fucking Olympics anyway. Uh, I would smash it. Now, but see, according to this, mini this is, I tell you what, man, this is, this is deep. We're deep inside the, uh, the matrix here. The first documented miniature courses in mainland Europe was built in 1926. Oh, no, hang on, hang on. Do, 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 do. How was the it first... built in 1926 and we didn't come up with it until 1929? Well, see, no, here's, the, here's this, the plot fucking th thickens. But Gillian, already now you're forgetting the distinction. This isn't, this is mini golf we're talking about now. This oh, is, we create a pitch and put, but there's no. But you put. just told me there was no difference. I'm telling you, I'm struggling to find the difference, but I'm, oh. I'm not. But you know, so Jim, wait. This Geometri is like someone saying that they created the fucking apple pie, and someone else saying they ah, created the apple. I think I found it. I think I found what the difference is. Okay. Geometrically. I'm so are you ready? Are you re Are you um, lying down, Gillian? Are you in bed under a covers? You are. Good, right. Um, <laughs> geometrically shaped mini golf courses made of artificial material began to emerge in the early 20th century. The earliest documentary of such a course was in, the, in June the 8th, 1912, in the Illustrated London News. 
obviously not a lot going on in 1912. You would have thought there would be, actually, if you think about history. But anyway, uh, which introduced <laughs> this, a mini golf course called Golfstacle. Golf, excuse me, go, it's not Golfstacle, it's actually Golfstacle, no L. Uh, so according to this, that's what mini golf is that seems to occur in the 1912s. So what I think the difference is, firstly, I think anyone who is claiming that they invented any of this shit is being, it's a little bit, it's, they're, I think they're, they're playing hard and fast with the concept of invented. It's like me, <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? It's like me seeing a car and then making a smaller car and then being like, I've invented it! It's, <laughs> mm, yeah. I've invented, like, I invented the mini car. Did you? The mini? That's Julian's favorite mode of transport. Um, oh no, which one did you prefer? The mini or what was the other mini. one? Beetle. Beetle, you didn't like the beetle. That's right, because you said it had menacing hubcaps or something. I can't remember. Mm. That was exactly it, yeah. So here's what I think the difference is. Pitch and pot played on actual grass. Mini uh, golf played on artificial astroturf or plasticky like surfaces. Right, right. According to this article, mini golf and crazy golf are interchangeable. However, I would contest that and say, if it's not got crazy shit in it, it ain't crazy golf. It's mini golf, yeah. So, so then, what is the difference between golf and pitch and putt if they're both played on grass? So the difference between golf and pitch and putt is the holes are less distance and closer together. So the game is easier to some extent and also it finishes it faster and you have to travel less distance. So, right. And thus the pot part, because you're doing more potting than you are swinging. Oh, I see. So there, there you go. We got to the bottom of the mystery. This is, this is what it feels like, Julian, when you like uncover a massive conspiracy, when you, mm. you crack the Enigma code like the spies in World War II. This is that feeling, that rush, that giddy hot sense of high. <laughs> And now you know, and you were right. Pitch and pot is different to mini golf. So there yeah. you go. But you couldn't put your finger on why, which explains as well why your mini golf inside was definitely mini golf. Because unless, well, see now, could you have in? You could have indoor pitch and pot, but you'd have to put a roof over a field. <laughs> does that mean if you put a marquee, does that make make a pitch and pot? Um. If you put up, ooh, mm, I think it's to do with the surface. I think it's to do with the surface. So, so if you, it would, it would still be pitch and putt and not mini golf. I think it's still pitch and putt no matter what you put overhead. But if you change right. the underneath part, then it becomes then it changes. pitch and putt. Mm, that mad now. I'm so glad we found that out. So this is a clip. This is a clip from the last one, whatever one. I can't remember where I say. <laughs> where I say. I want. I wonder how hard it is to get a doll's head made up of yourself, and you say, Alan, that's something I, I never want to know. <laughs> just crack me up, man. Just cracks me up. I'm just like, yeah, that'd be great. And you're just the horror on your face. To please stop. Please stop. Thank you.